or just who responded to me when i sent them the films link i haven't opened any of their messages i do feel bad uh but i also feel it's okay ana enna na inda varsham end ku la irundhu na vandu ellarku reply panniren kala pilot film irukku i won't say another detail about that it's very specific i don't want to name call i am going to i'm hopefully Hopefully, I will be able to do this with the Nike. This director, uh, I am uh, really excited to work with. Then there is this film that I have to shoot, which I am not excited about. But I am excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is another film. You know. <laughs> How do you like experiencing love? Is it okay for you to be overwhelmed sometimes? Or... Do you think if you're in a healthy situation, you wouldn't feel overwhelmed? No, no, no. I think it's okay to feel overwhelmed because firstly, that feeling is not under my own control. So I think it is unfair of me to expect the other person to be aware of that and be mindful of that. And I myself don't know that. Sometimes missing that person... feels nice but also konjam uh, concerning a irukum enna enna pandranga avanga epdi feel pandranga abinte and i think that that space like missing each other or you know uh, partners being in different spaces together not being together is also important uh, so that you know we know how we feel about them when they're not with us i think that is that is very important for us to know overwhelm feeling and you're uh, uh, asking uh, the master of uh, overwhelm <laughs> mo uh, <laughs> i needn't have to process everything all by myself as you know i am not a i am not a person uh, yeah, yeah doing gifts or uh surprising adala uh, uh, that's, uh, that's just how I'm not wired but i like uh, experiencing love in day to day life in like in like mundane activities i want to experience in love in with the kutti kutti things that we do for each other or how we treat each other adile enak theriyum and i that is that is very much mm. enough for me doing things together i like doing things together mm. and i think 
நான் மோஸ்ட்லி வந்துட்டு ஏதாச்சும் ஹெல்ப் வேணும் இல்லாட்டி ஃபிகர் அவுட் பண்ணும் இல்லாட்டி கொஞ்சம் எனக்கு பேசணும் அப்படின்னு தோணும்போது நான் ஓப்பன் அப் பண்ணும் அப்படின்னு தோணும்போது சும்மா ரேம்பிள் பண்றது அது இருக்கும் அந்த ரேம்பு எனக்கு ஆக்சுவலா ரேம்பிளிங் ரொம்ப பிடிக்கும் ஆனா ஐ பிகம் கான்சியஸ் ஆஃப் தட் அபவுட் <laughs> uh being together mm. um you know in the sense you know being in the same space together or being partners with each other uh and the boundaries are blurry but all matla i don't want any of that i really don't have any expectations from a person uh probably those expectations might reflect in whether i'm get being attracted to them or not adula reflect aagum nenikira ah enak basic ana qualities tha i expect you know like kindness enak i generally like people who are kind who are not assholes to other people who generally aren't like who i really like people who don't take themselves seriously because i am also like that not because i am like that but I think that's a great quality. There's something you've consciously worked hard for. You can take examples from your childhood also. Something long term. My anchor. <coughs> yeah, trip it up now. I'll do it in the mundane activities instead of Hoodie. <laughs> can you tell who that person was that inspired you to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. of course the person who helped me identify my anger is stalin master he was my voice trainer uh um when i had sure. this... <laughs> yeah so we spoke or and we did and voice training panvaru okay va till then na and classical carnatic music la and training he opened up my voice and my mind uh, <laughs> uh we spoke a lot apart from you know classes singing and all of that he made me realize that my most valuable instrument is not my voice but my brain uh office editing so pannano ha office editing da idu pannano yeah that will be really good for this interview so yeah he made me sit after i think annik vende when he spoke about this no i think the the previous class or when he came for that session before he entered the house before i saw him it over time ne gamma pace ka it has reached one point where my mom was really concerned she was really worried about me this is for ninth grade or something and she was extremely and she was extremely scarred as well, emotionally like you know stepper issues are so the update so annikku vanda avare class e nadathala vandute vaanga harisham ukkan pesanga update he started talking he made me uh, think about how i was behaving for the first ever time and when i actually did know it did not take too much time for me to realize how shitty i was behaving and the scariest part of that was that's exactly how my father was making me feel as well mm. making my mom feel and you know th- those were the qualities that i hated about him the realize i was doing that it's like oh shit and the uh, from then on itself Stalin master Stalin master Uh I don't know from when 
but i have had this i think my mom got this quality from me i made it a point to communicate to her to apologize and reason out if i did something wrong even if i did something wrong i made it a habit that i went and apologized to her and i normalized it which i am very happy about that is what enabled my mom to be freer to me to be more open to me because she wouldn't be in a spot to apologize to me mm-hmm. at any point adana <laughs> the things that my mom does that would irritate me are only uh, so are things that i would like her to improve on avlo thana thavara yeah she is one sweet heart so yeah i am really happy that i made that switch and for me to process the anger now mm. to get rid of it me going like acknowledging that and accepting that for myself was the first step but acknowledging that and apologizing for my behavior to my mom was very important to not be that way do you think you matured relatively earlier than others at your age probably yeah. because of this it contributed in any way sure it did i think it's mostly because of me starting to be vocal about how i'm feeling to my parents he's a person who always listens and uh, i realized that that is the only way i could go about with my dad because my mom wasn't able to my mom never did that she never reasoned out she never spoke out spoke out in the sense not revolting against mm-hmm. but telling him how she feels when we say that no like when a person is being unkind they are seeing how it is affecting us but when we actually tell them no i think it only when we are vulnerable with them it makes them you know i think it they become more accepting they let down their guards which is a wonderful process this was very important you know if if not for this then yeah i might not have actually realized if not for this what do you think uh, would have affected you anything else that has affected you after that my father's own kindness mm. like there was a very uh, dramatic situation that happened uh, incident that happened in our house and uh, based on the chat me maybe a bit it's a plot point in the film uh, but like even i wasn't able to accept or see things for what they were or trust my mom's feelings in a certain situation but my father stood right there with her and like for me i would have been the most accepting person i would have been the most accepting of her but he was more accepting of her now is responding without anger instinctive or do you have situations where you have to consciously remind yourself that no what to calm down now ipo undu yena ki pona anger undu after a certain point the way my anger comes out is by me crying mm i end up crying i think my breaking down comes out of you know the despair that that particular situation or person has made me feel that way it's driven me to that point have you ever regretted not standing up for yourself at any point i have not with work but uh, personally yeah emotionally never would work not to this extent of course okay. yeah standing up for myself in the sense telling them what i feel how i feel mm. not only my partner but even to my mom to my closest of friends 
what was the question again have you yeah. ever regretted not regretted. standing up for yourself yeah hmm. yeah regretted not speaking my mind hmm. regretting not telling how i feel uh because in a lot of instances i have put others before myself which i am not appreciable of because of the effect it had on me because of how it made me feel i also regret it i also don't find it uh, that attractive because especially because i know that the people who i can uh, speak to about this who i should be communicating to this all of them are so understanding and they will definitely understand apdi irukumbode i regret not understanding them enough for that mm. i haven't understood them enough to realize that they would be understanding of me you know the yeah i'm also asking in the sense that mm, have you been taken advantage of in a situation for which you couldn't stand up for yourself and say this is what i feel no. not that i can think of like you know if that kind of an instance had happened i would know mm. and i've never let that happen as you about what you work hard for no consciously mm. what do you think you got lucky at mm think uh, i mean it has been the luckiest thing ever uh especially to have gotten the part that i played no actor will get that in the first hour mm. it's very difficult i think i've been extremely more than lucky see this might sound very cheesy it will sound very cheesy but i definitely believe that shiva and i found each other from a very from a broader perspective i might not be the ideal actor to play chinese mm. because my personality is different from it very yeah <laughs> uh, to the audience uh, don't be disappointed it's it's also sad that you know people are disappointed when they discover <laughs> that i'm not like that you know how much of how much conviction he would have had in me and it did like him trusting me him believing me believing in me even after you know say instances where uh he felt like i'm still not there mm-hmm. and it was quite close to shoot and it was very close to i was one day away from being switched roles அப்படிலாம் இருக்கும்போது அண்ட் மீ ட்ரஸ்டிங் ஷிவா ஹேப்பன்ட் வெரி நேச்சுரலி வெரி நேச்சுரலி இன் த சென்ஸ் ஹி ஏர்ன் தட் ஃப்ரம் மீ ஹி ஹி கேவ் மீ இன்புட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹி ஹிஸ் ப்ராசஸ் வாஸ் இன் அ சர்டன் வே அண்ட் ஹி ஆல்சோ ட்ரீட்டட் ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ் இன் ஃபார் மீ தட் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் லைக் ஹவு அண்ட் இண்டிவிஜுவல் ட்ரீட்ஸ் அண்ட் அதர் இண்டிவிஜுவல் regardless of their working relationship that is very important for me and the way la i don't know for others but other than work wise on seri how we value each other as people on seri i think it was uh, mutual mm. he also fed off from i don't i don't think he would have respected me this much he would have given me this much liberty with the part had he not seen that it is in safe hands so i think it's a match made in heaven but cupid himself <laughs> you can answer this with relation to whatever in your life what validates you does your validation flow from another person's validation or do you think you have your own uh, i have my own blueprint sense of validation <laughs> okay blueprint in kadayadu <clears throat> I think it's important for me to validate myself to acknowledge certain things good things and bad things uh and uh being aware of the things that I'm not proud of I think it is very much part of me f- feeling more validated about myself 
my question is mm. are you aware before others are aware of what you're good at mostly but that awareness comes from me the feeling that i get while doing something so regarding my looks <laughs> no i don't validate myself <laughs> i'm not aware mm. there are certain moments when there are very few moments when i look at myself actually look at myself in the mirror and it's mostly uh, the problem with me is uh, that i also tend to look at more more at myself and be conscious be more conscious of myself only at bad times mm uh so <laughs> uh, yeah you not seeing the validation you receive on your dms is very surprising for me i've only been with people who receive enough for them to validate themselves and be like okay now i can progress but you get lots of it so is it just the mm, possibility of overwhelm that you that makes you stop wanting to look at those messages or what makes you think i don't want to see those messages now because i know i'm that good <laughs> honestly nice okay adu vandu overwhelming ah irukum apdingra fear um enak irukku that is also true but see i i i think i seek validation from the right place you know i know for a fact <laughs> see i know for a fact that um uh it is most difficult for me to validate myself that i am the most difficult person to do that and i mostly don't do it after some work like while some work is out i know that when i'm doing something so and i'm seeing reactions to it even then like what other people think is not that important to me as much as how i'm making them feel because part of my validation about myself is how i make them feel how is this transaction happening and i think i believe i'm a good audience i'm a kind of audience as well and i also have some good taste i'm also appreciative of kutti things mm. but i'm not appreciative of those kutti things in myself because i don't want to be conscious of them i let them happen last question <laughs> yes <laughs> do you feel like singing something ah so let's start yeah <sighs> mm. காலங்களோடும் இது கதையாகி போகும் என் கண்ணீர் துளியின் ஈரம் வாழும் தாயாக நீதான் தலை கோத வந்தாலும் மடி மீது மீண்டும் ஜனனம் வேண்டும் என் வாழ்க்கை நீங்கு தந்தது அடி உன் நாட்கள் தான் இங்கு வாழ்வது காதல் இல்லை இது காமம் இல்லை இந்த உறவுக்கு உலகத்தில் பெயர் இல்லை நெஞ்சோடு கலந்திடு உறவாதே காலங்கள் மறந்திடு அன்பே நிலவோடு தென்றதும் வரும் வேளை காயங்கள் மறந்திடு அன்பே ஒரு வார்த்தை இங்கு ஒரு பார்வை பார்த்து நான் நின்றால் சிறு பூவாக நீ மலர்வாயே ஒரு வார்த்தை இங்கு நான் சொன்னால் வலி போகும் எனன்பே என்பே நெஞ்சோடு கலந்திடு உறவாதே காலங்கள் மறந்திடு அன்பே நிலவோடு தென்றலும் வரும் வேளை 
காயங்கள் மறந்திரு I'm very impressed that you always get instrumentals, right? Okay, okay. okay. Music is in the blood. <laughs> Especially, it's, it's, it's nice to watch because I don't mind if I'm being bad. Hmm. And like, how, how good is... I mean, tune is right. Pitch is right. Rhythm is right. Rhythm of life is right. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> முன்னோக்கி காலம் போகும் எச்சி பின்னோக்கி காலம் போகும் எரு உன் மன்னிப்பை கோருவேன் கண்ணோக்கிறேராய் பார்க்கும் கணம் பிழையல்லாமே போகும் போதும் அதான் 